dear students welcome back to my channel in this session let us learn chapter number two linear equation in one variable here we need to know what is linear what is equation and what is variable and what is one variable so uh, to learn what is equation uh, first we need to know what is what is arithmetic in mathematics there are four operations are there addition subtraction multiplication and division now arithmetic arithmetic actually arithmetic is the study of numbers suppose 2 plus 5 into 3 here I'm using um, only the countable numbers and 3 minus 6 divided by 2 so here also I'm using only countable numbers and here I use plus sign multiply here minus and divide so I'm using this for signs only so this type of numbers are known as arithmetic expression next is algebra 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 is a branch of mathematics dealing with symbols. For example, 2x plus 5, 5y minus 10. Here I'm using the symbol x, here I'm using symbol y. x and y are actually English alphabet. In English alphabet, we are using as symbols. So this type of numbers are called algebraic expression. Algebraic. Expression. Now let's come to equation. Actually this equation is coming from the equality sign. That means is equal to sign. Uh, this this uh, is equal to sign is this sign. So suppose I'm writing an algebraic expression in this way: two x plus five. Now I'm using equality sign. This sign minus six and five y minus ten is equal to zero. Here I'm using the equality sign. Equality sign. So if we are using this equality sign, now this becomes equation. This is called now equations. Next is linear equation. Linear equation just now we have learned that uh, 2x plus 5 is equal to minus 6 is an equation and 5y minus 10 is also an equation here the English alphabet x and y are called variable if the power of the variable is 1 then it is called linear equation so 2x plus 5 is equal to minus 6 is a linear equation since the power of the variable is 1 And suppose if the power of the variable becomes 2. Now this is not a linear equation since the power of the variable is not 1. Uh, this type of equation you will learn in the higher classes. Uh, this type of equation is called quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. 
now variable 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 is actually english alphabet we use uh, while writing a linear equation uh, in this 5x plus 2 is equal to 10 we don't know what is the value of x here and now this x is called variable variable means its value can be changed so here x is variable variable uh, here i'm writing another linear equation 3y minus 7 is equal to 0 here y is called variable the meaning of variable means value can be changed now definition of linear equation in one variable linear equation is in one variable is an equation which contains only one variable and the highest power of the variable is one example 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 7 y minus 3 is equal to 15 etc are linear equation in one variable let me explain this in my day long a linear equation in one variable hypothesis uh, equation amani equation to the magi variable gi power c one way gada ba how uh, is the period by example see the 2x plus 1 is the variable see x ni x ki power c one ni aduna si ki si linear equation in one variable gi example ni mathang the 7 y minus 3 is equal to 15 the y c variable ni my power c one ni aduna si ki si linear equation in one variable gi example amani now let's start exercise 2.1 Question. Solve the following equations. Question number one. X minus two is equal to seven. Solve means to find out the value. The value of the variable is called uh, solution or solve. Now solution. Here the given equation is x minus two is equal to seven. So means to find out the value of the variable. Here the, the variable is x. So we have to find out the value of x. This implies uh, if we want to find out the value of x, we no need this minus 2. To make this minus 2 0, we are going to add plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0. So we have to add both sides 2. x minus 2, we are adding is equal to sign on the other side also we are going to add 2 here we are doing adding 2 on both sides on both sides this implies that x minus 2 plus 2 becomes now 0 now x is equal to 7 plus 2 is 9 which is the required solution which is the required solution question number two and three are easy so you try now let's do question number four three by seven plus x is equal to seventeen by seven now solution we have take the given equation 3 by 7 plus x is equal to 17 by 7 here the variable is x here the variable is x so in the next steps uh, keeping this variable and uh, this 3 by 7 is transposing to the other side 17 by 7 if 3 by 7 is transposing to the other side 
transposing means here is is equal to sine and this side is called left hand side and this side is called right hand side if the numbers in the uh, left hand side if we are transposing to the right hand side uh, that process is called transposing so 3 by 7 is transposing to the other side then uh, this 3 by 7 have here positive sign if we are transposing then uh, the sign must be changed into opposite sign so minus 3 by 7 this implies that x is equal to uh, if we want to subtract this 7 and 7 are taking LCM then 7 first number 17 next is minus then 3 this implies that x is equal to 17 minus 3 is 14 and this is 7 therefore x is equal to 14 by 7 here this 7 can divide this 14 7 2 times is 14 so the answer must be x is equal to 2 which is the required solution I hope you can understand this Question number 5 is easy, so you try as homework. Next is question number 6. Dy5 is equal to 0. Now solution. Dy5 is equal to 0. Next steps. To cancel the denominator 5, let us multiply both sides by 5. Uh, d by 5 is equal to, this must be 10, this is my mistake, so sorry. 10, 10 into multiplying both sides by 5. Here the step is multiplying, multiplying both sides by 5 5 5 are cancelled therefore t is equal to 10 into 5 is 50 which is the required solution next is question number 7 let's try question number 7 2 by x, uh, 2x by 3 is equal to 18. Now, solution. 2x by 3 is equal to 18. This, uh, this question is also almost same as question number 6. Uh, first, let us multiply both sides by 3. Into 3, 18 into 3. Multiplying, multiplying both sides. by 3 3 3 are cancel 2x equal to 18 into 3 that is 54 this implies that x is equal to if this 2 is transposing to the other side here the sign between 2 and x is a multiply sign so multiply will change to divide so 54 will be divided by 2 2 divide 54 that is 27 Therefore, therefore, x is equal to 27, which is the required solution. Question number 8 and 9 are same, so next question, let's try. Question number 10. 14y minus 8 is equal to 13. Now, solution. We have 
14y minus 8 is equal to 13. Now next steps. 14y minus 8. Uh, to make this minus 8, 0, let's add 8. To the other side also, we are going to add 8. Here, we are using adding. Adding 8 on both sides. Fourteen y minus eight plus eight. The sign are different, so we have to subtract. Then it must be zero. Thirteen plus eight. That is twenty one. This is implies by fourteen y. Now uh, both side we are going to divide by fourteen since here is fourteen divided by fourteen and twenty one. Also we have to divide by fourteen here. We are using dividing. Dividing both sides by 14. Now 14, 14 are cancel. 21 and 14 we can divide by 7. 7 and 3 are 21. 7 and 2 are 14. 3 by 2 is getting. Therefore, y is equal to 3 by 2, which is the required solution. And next question, question number 11 and 12 are same, so these two questions you try as homework. Application of linear equation in one variable. In this exercise 2.2, we are going to learn how to apply linear equation in one variable. Let's see question number one. If you subtract 1 by 2 from a number and multiply the result by 1 by 2, you get 1 by 8. What is the number? Here, uh, it is telling to find out the number. Let us suppose that this is the number. And once again, let us study this question. We need to study the question very well. If you subtracted 1 by 2 from a number, that means this is the number. From this number, if we subtracted, this is subtracted. Subtracted means minus half. Huh? And multiply the result. Um, from this result, uh, we need to multiply by half. You get, we are getting, means is equal to 1 by 8. We are getting 1 by 8. What is number? We have to find out this number. Now, solution. Uh, since uh, this is the question of linear equation in one variable, this number we want to find out, we are going to take as... Uh, x so let x be the number then by question we get by question we get we have to write down this x minus 1 by 2 and if this is multiplied by half this uh, 1 by 2 we can write we can write this side also this side or this side if this is multiply then we are multiplying uh, this given number by half if we are writing this half here or here same is equal to 1 by 8 now we have to find out this x x minus 1 by 2 is equal to is uh, this 1 by 2 if we are transposing to the other side this multiply sign will change into divide then means 1 by 8 uh, half is transposing then divided by sign 1 by 2 this implies that x minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 8 
divide this sense into multiply numerator and denominator are inter sense then 2 by 1 2 can divide 8 4 times x minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 4 now we have to transpose this minus 1 by 2 to the other side then sign will be sense minus 1 by 2 is transposing to the other side then minus sign is changed into plus 1 by 2 this implies that x is equal to 4 and 2 if we are taking LCM then we will get 4 then 4 is dividing by 4 we are getting 1 1 into 1 is 1 then this sign plus sign 4 is dividing by 2 then we will get 2 2 into 1 is 2 1 plus 2 therefore x is equal to 1 plus 2 is 3 3 by 4 is getting Hence, the required number is 3 by 4. Here the question is over and I hope that you can understand this. Question number 3. The base of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 cm. The perimeter of the triangle is for hole number 2 by 15 centimeter. What is the length of either of the remaining equal sides? Uh, let us study this question first. And we need to understand uh, the question very well. After that, we can solve the question. And without understanding the question, we are not able to solve the question. So, once again, let us study this question. The base of an isosceles triangle. Here, the given triangle is isosceles triangle. So, in an isosceles triangle, you know that the length of the two sides are equal. Here, I'm making this side and this side are equal. And I join this. So, now, this is the isosceles triangle. And here, it's telling that base. This side is called base. These two are the equal side and this side is called now base. The base of, of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 cm. So, length of this side of the base is given as 4 by 3 cm. So 4 by 3 centimeter. The perimeter of the triangle. What is meant by perimeter of the triangle? The sum of the three sides of a triangle is called perimeter. And perimeter is given. Perimeter. Perimeter of the triangle is for whole number 2 by 15. For whole number 2 by 15 centimeter. Sum of these three sides will be for whole number 2 by 15 centimeter. What is the length of either of the remaining equal side here either of the remaining side means this side and this side and the length of these two side will be equal why because the given triangle is isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle length of two sides are equal so the question says that we have to find out the length of either side of the equal side this side and this side these two side we have to find out uh, its length so uh, first of all let's take uh, the length of the equal side be x. Let x be the length of the equal side. That means we are taking this side also x, this side also x. Now by question we get. By question we get. Uh, we have to use this. Perimeter of the triangle is for whole number 2 by 15 centimeter. So uh, perimeter means x plus x. Sum of the length of the three sides. That means first side x, second side also x, and the third side is 4 by 3. 4 by 3, and this is centimeter, but let's not write the unit. Is equal to, this is perimeter. For whole number, 2 by 15, and unit is centimeter. Let's not put centimeter. Next steps x and x if we add together we will get 2x plus 
4 by 3 is equal to this is mixed fraction mixed fraction left side uh, is improper fraction 15 into 4 is 60 16 into 2 is 62 62 divided by 15 this implies that 2x plus 4 by 3 is equal to 62 by 15 next step this implies that Keep this 2x 4 by 3 transposing to the other side then this plus sum will be changed to minus 62 by 15 4 by 3 is transposing then minus 4 by 3 this plus sign is changed into minus this implies that 2x is equal to let us subtract these two numbers 15 and 3 taking LCM then we will get 15 15 is dividing by 15 we are getting 1 1 into 62 is 62 minus 15 is dividing by 3 then we are getting 5 5 for time is 20 so 20 2x is equal to 15 62 minus 20 that is 42 now if we want to find out x then 42 by 15 will be divided by this 2. 2 is transposing, then here is multiply, then multiply will change to divide. So 42 will be multiplied by 2. 2 multiply 42, that is 21. And 21 and 15 we can divide by 3. 3, 5 times is 15. 3, 7 are 21. 7 by 5 is getting. Therefore, Therefore, x is equal to 7 by 5. And this is equal to this 7 by 5. Uh, if we want to write as mixed fraction, 5 one time is 5, 6, 7, 2, 2 by 5. Hence, Hence, the length of either of the remaining equal side is equal to one whole number two by five and unit is centimeter question number four sum of two numbers is 95 if one exceeds the other by 15 find the numbers let's study the question well uh, once again let's study sum of two numbers is 95 so this means that and let us suppose that this is the first number and this is the second number and sum means plus if we add these two numbers the answer is 95 so 95 so the first sentence says this sum of these two numbers is 95 if one exceeds the other by 15 from these two number or one number exceeds the other by 15 this is given in the question find the numbers now we have to find out this number as well as this number first uh, we are going to start by taking uh, one number as x now solution let x be the one number then 
the other number is x plus 15 by question we get now we have to use this uh, here the first number we are taking as x and the second one is x plus 15 and the answer is 95 so this is what we have to write on here x plus x plus 15 is equal to 95 x plus x is 2x plus 15 is equal to 95 2x plus 15 is transposing to the other side and this person will change to minus 95 minus 15 2x is equal to if we subtract 95 minus 15 then we'll get 80. Therefore, x is equal to, if this 2 is transposing to the other side, 2 will divide 80. 2 divide 80, that is 40. Then, uh, let's find out this. x plus 15 is equal to, x is 40. 40 plus 15 and we are getting 55 hence the two numbers are 40 and 55 here the question is over and I hope that you can understand this Question number 5 is same, so you try question number 5. Now next question, question number 6. Let's study the question. Three consecutive integers add up to 51. What are these integers? Uh, we need to understand the question well. After that, we can solve it. Without understanding the question, you are not able to solve it. So once again, let us study the question. Three consecutive integers. What is mean by consecutive? Suppose 4, 5, 6, 4 by 6 are called 3 consecutive numbers. Consecutive number means thang number number. 4, 5, 6 is thang number number. Ahum ni adu na makhoi ahum sibu 3 consecutive integers kawi. Suppose 8, 9, 11. Sigi number ahum si 3 consecutive integers kawde. Kaya ginohay ka ang 9 ga ilabing ka magta TNC ka ang gre. Ato na siyong ba number si low ba yan di? 4, 5, 6 siyong ba number high ba di? Thang na ba number? Thang na ba number? Ahum. Hoji, question ta hayran bagi matung ina thang na ba number? Thang na ba integer ahum gi? 8 high ba di? Moy gi sam ni high ba di plus ni? Ato 51 ta hayat. So, let us suppose that this is the first consecutive number, this is the second consecutive number, and this is the third consecutive number. And if we add this, the answer is given as 51. What are these integers? Now, we need to find out these three integers. See, integer, home, see, number, kya, kya, tarkata, kya, If we are supposing that the first consecutive integer is x, the second one will be x plus 1. Thang na ba integer lo ge hai tar di aham bai tu da 1 plus tau guni. Then the third consecutive integer will be x plus 2. x plus 1, x plus 2. This will be the three consecutive integer and this will be the first step. Now solution. Let x, x plus 1, x plus 2 be the 
थ्री कंजिकटिव कंजिकटिव इंटीजर्स नाउ बाय क्वेश्चन वी गेट बाय क्वेश्चन वी गेट दिस वाट द क्वेश्चन सेस इफ वी एड टुगेदर द थ्री इंटीजर्स द आंसर इज फिफ्टी वन सो फर्स्ट इंटीजर एक्स प्लस सेकेंड इंटीजर एक्स प्लस वन थर्ड इंटीजर एक्स प्लस टू एंड दिस सम इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी वन एक्स प्लस लिप द ब्रैकेट एक्स प्लस वन लिप द ब्रैकेट एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी वन सो ऑल द एक्स राइट टूगेदर एक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स वन प्लस टू वन प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी वन Now the three x let's add together. Here is one. Here is one. Here is one. X plus x plus x is three x. One plus two is three. Three is equal to fifty one. This implies that three x is equal to if plus three is transposing to the other side, plus will change into minus. So fifty one minus three. Three x is equal to fifty one minus three is forty eight. This implies that x is equal to if three is transposing to the other side, forty-eight will be divided by three. If three divide this, sixteen is getting three. Some is eighteen, three one. Some is three plus one is four, so forty-eight. Therefore, x is sixteen. X is now sixteen. Then. Uh, let's take this. Let's take this x plus one. X plus one is equal to x is now sixteen plus one, and we are getting seventeen. And next is x plus two. This x plus two. X plus two is equal to x is sixteen and plus two. Sixteen plus two is eighteen. Now last step. Hence, the three consecutive integers are sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Eighteen. Not so difficult. Okay. I hope you can follow all these steps. Question number seven. You try now. Question number eight. Three consecutive integers are such that when they are taken in increasing order and multiplied by two, three, and four respectively, they add up to seventy-four. Find these numbers. Uh, let's study the question well. Okay. So uh, you see the question. Three con. Consecutive integers. Uh, in question number six, also uh, that question is uh, for three consecutive integers, and this is also three consecutive integers. So consecutive integers means thang naba integers, and we are going to take these three consecutive integers as increasing order. You see here, this is increasing order. Let us suppose that this is the first. Consecutive integer, and this is the second consecutive integer, and this is the third consecutive integers. And we have to take this as uh, increasing order. That means uh, this is the smallest one, then this is larger. From there, this is again larger. Then we have to multiply by two, three, and four respectively. If there is respectively. Uh, then the first number will multiply the first integer, and the second number three will multiply the second consecutive integer, and next number four will multiply the third integer, and they add up to 
this is at so plus this is plus again this is plus if we add this together the answer is given 74 and this is 74 and find these numbers now we have to find out these three integers so uh, this is what the question says and this one is very important so uh, let us suppose that the first consecutive integer is x then the second will be x plus 1 and the third will be x plus 2 then uh, if we are taking this then it must be 2x then plus sign then 3 into x plus 1 plus sign then 4 into x plus 2 and they added up to 74 and this is what the question says and from this step uh, what we are going to find out the numbers now solution let x x plus 1 and x plus 2 be the three consecutive consecutive integers by question we get by question we get and this is what we have to write down this is what we are getting from the question and we have to write down this 2x plus 3 into x plus 1 plus 4 into x plus 2 and they added up to 74 this implies that 2x plus uh, this is multiply so first let us multiply by 3 3 multiply x 3x plus sign 3 into 1 is 3 plus sign 4 multiply x 4x plus sign 4 multiply by 2 then 4 to the time is 8 is equal to 74 then next let's write together 2x and 3x and 4x all the x we are going to write down together then 3 plus 8 is equal to 74 now all the x let's add together 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 4 is 9 so we are getting 9x plus 3 plus 8 is 11 is equal to 74 uh, since this this 11 is without x so we have to transpose this to the other side then 9x is equal to 74 plus 11 is transposing to the other side then plus will be changed to minus so minus 11 this implies that 9x is equal to 74 minus 11 that is 63 therefore x is equal to 9 is transposing to the other side then 9 will divide 63 9 7 are 63 now x is 7 then here you see that uh, x x plus 1 and x plus 2 be the three consecutive integers we have to find out the three consecutive integers we are getting x as 7 now we have to find out x plus 1 that means 7 plus 1 then x plus 1 will be 8 next is we have to find out x plus 2 since x is 7 7 plus 2 is 9 so we are getting 7 8 and 9 then x plus 1 is equal to x is 7 plus 1 then we are getting 8 and next is x plus 2 since x is 7 plus 2 is 9 hence the 
three consecutive integers are seven eight and nine here it is over not so difficult you can follow